So here we are with Blake and Lucy. He is a really nice dog. Um, he's very gentle. Um, he's really mellow. And um, he's a big boy. He came in as a starvation case. You can kind of still see. See how he's sitting there? You can see how thin he is. He should probably be in the 90 to 100 pound range. And he was under 70. And he's extra, extra tall and extra long. Um, he looks like a purebred shepherd. He's got a little bit of white on his toes and some white on his neck, so don't know what he's mixed with, but he is a beautiful dog. And um, not we cat tested him previously. We don't feel he's safe with cats. But um, he was starved, and so that obviously takes place over a period of time, and um, somebody was not good to him. He also is a little hand shy. He's fine with me now because I've been taking care of him, feeding him for a while, and he's putting on some good weight. Um, he still needs to gain probably another good 20 pounds. Um, you know, maybe even just even 15, but 15, 20 pounds, and uh, super sweet guy. No, no aggression, no food aggression, nothing like that. Very nice. We got an itch. So we got an itch. Lots of itches. That's well, not that bad. You should have seen Max. Poor Max just been itching himself. That it was after I gave him his bath. That's what um, Bella's doing the same thing. I mean, she's, her legs are getting all catches on it. On that website, for that Effective Pet Wellness website, they've got something for dogs who are itching and you can't see anything. There's no fleas. Yeah. You're going, what the heck's going on with my dog? Going into an itching frenzy. And uh, they, they have this product. They said if it's mites, you can't see them. If it's Vemodex, Sarcoptic, or just, you know, these invisible mites like no seams, they swear that it gets rid of them. So, but I don't even know that that's what Max has because Max wasn't even itching this bad, so I gave him the bath. Would the collar do it to her? Because I put one of those collars on her. The Soresto? Yeah. If she if she's itching on her legs, though, probably not. Then Max might do something. That, you, you think it's helping it. on the other dogs with the with the fleas? I put it on her and I put it on Coda and Zoe and Buddy. And it's weird on Zoe. There's like a time slap with a zillion fleas on her. I have 10, 15. Buddy barely has any. And then 15 minutes later, she'll have none. So I don't know if it's just kind of hmm. repelling them or killing them or what it's doing. Buddy barely has any on him. Hmm. And Coda doesn't hardly have any on him. I've been really fortunate. I don't have any dogs that fleas here right now. None. And I'm just um, I'm like, thank God. It's usually this time of the year when we get them. But you know, a lot of times the dogs are hanging out. They're not laying in the grass. You know. So I think that might make a difference too. I just hope we don't get any. That'd be nice. Last year was bad. <coughs> yeah. It took me like two months to get them off my dogs. I was bathing them every week. I was putting dip on them. I would put the flea and tick stuff on them. Tried frontline Advantix. All kinds of stuff wasn't helping. Vacuuming <coughs> two and three times a day. And we finally sprayed the yard, and that's what stopped it. Loose. Have them scoot, sit up with them. It's always good to sit up. Very good with Lucy. Very sweet. He's probably between two and three years old. He's got like a little bit of mild uh, discoloration to his teeth. Not like bad discoloration, just more ivory colored. He's a good boy. He's happy. I just like it here. I'm being a good boy. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetheart. He's not real keen on other um, dominant male dogs, but like Rommel and a couple of the other young males would come over here and play with him, and he was fine. But I would just, I prefer to do opposite sex adoptions for better harmony. He's currently with Lakin, and the two of them get along fine. Gaining his way back. You can't see your hips anymore. No, why? Hi, sweetie. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Lou, stand up next to him. Call him over and stand up next to him so we can see how tall he is. Sometimes it's hard to tell with pictures and videos. Hey, call him that way because I, I am in the back of the Blake. corner here. Blake. Blake. Good boy. Oh, Blake. <laughs> Silly boy. Well, that's okay. At least he's submitting to you. Roll him over on his belly. Roll over? 
good boy. <laughs> You can see now how long he is with Lucy there. Okay, Lucy, now lay next to him so we can show how tall he is and how long, how lo tall you are and how long he is. <laughs> yeah, I like this kid. So that's a good sign to see him just submitting to Lucy and, you know, be real kid friendly. He's not obnoxious either, you know. He'll bark every now and then outside. He's just nothing, nothing bad about this dog. He's really a good boy. Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. You're a good boy. Okay, that's about six minutes. Blake. Sweetie, good boy. Hey, good boy. Thank you.